swear you heard their names before you'll curse the day you met them. But when you see their boners, we bet you won't forget them. So snatch a look and have a ball. It's toxic but not harmful. If dirty's what you're looking for, sh you got a barn full. Dirty farm animals seem innocent enough. Dirty farm animals, the kids will love this stuff. Dirty farm animals, it's mother f awesome. Dirty farm animals, mother f sucker. The mold count was high one day Pork awoke. When Beef Curtain saw him, she started to choke. Cause Pork's face looked awful, all puffy and swollen. Like a fat person's fingers after five frames of bowling. An allergic reaction made him unrecognizable he wasn't sneezing, but the swelling was sizable. What do I do? Asked Pork of Beef Curtain. It's an allergic reaction, of this I am certain. Well, you've got it quite bad, said the cow chewing cud. The mold count is high and you slept in the mud, which isn't too smart, and it's a pretty good reason why your things can get swollen during allergy season. Is there a prescription? Asked the poor pig. My sinus is clogged and my face feels so big. Well, this may sound crazy. The helpful heifer said. But Cox got a treatment for swollen pink head. Pork was so anxious he needed a doc. So he frantically searched for the smooth talking cock. Who was down by the meadow high on a fence entertaining the chicks with his tail so intense. Cock had those hens eating out of his claw. They were pie-eyed and swooning in a trance and in awe. And of course, you know me. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. I... Uh, excuse me. Then Pork interrupted Cock's spewing sermon. Cock shot him a look. As if Pork were mere vermin. But one look at his eyes made Cock empathetic. He cut his speech short. Jeez, you need a medic. Cock lit into pork. Man, what is your issue? When I get that swollen, it ends with a tissue. But your case is so bad, your eyelids are sagging. What you could use is my special teabagging. Then Cock guided pork back toward the barn. It was time for a teabagging down on the farm. All of the animals had gathered around. Then Cock coerced Pork to lie down on the ground. Then from under Cock's wing... came two sacks full of tea. They were herbal and minty and as moist as can be. Cock took the tea bags and squeezed out some water, then stood over Pork in the stance of a squatter. Then he dabbed the two bags over Pork's swollen eyes. Pork felt relief. You could tell by his size. Good heavens, cried Pork. Your treatment's relieving. I can totally tell that the swelling is leaving. Cock let his tea bags rest on his friend's head and Pork felt no shame. He was happy instead. The healing was happening and Pork never got testy. When some tea dropped in his mouth, it tasted quite zesty. After the treatment, Cock discarded the satchels. Pork began weeping, his emotions were fragile. I'm eternally grateful for your teabagging, sir, that I want to sing about this miracle cure. Teabag me, teabag me, treat me to your baggage. Teabag me, teabag me, something smells like cabbage. Dot me with that satchel, pal, jazz you stand above me. Your moist and steamy bags of goodness say you thinking of me. Teabag me, teabag me, your sack is my redeemer. Teabag me, teabag me, your sack is my redeemer. 
by me, tea by me. I hope this one's a steamer. Your swollen sack of mellow juice, so warm and so diviner. I'd love to feel humidity from all the tea in China. Tea by me, tea by me, I like where this is going. Tea by me, tea by me, although no tea is flowing. I need to feel your sack of peel, that purse of early grain. The sogginess is more or less a satchel of sheer happiness, so slap me with that bag today. Cox stood all cocksure and puffed out his chest. He felt like a prophet who'd been put to a test. Cox tea bags were magic, as a matter of fact, like unicorn horn or beans in a sack. And there is one moral as the story ends. We can all be heroic. Simply teabag your friends. Mm -hmm.